Hi guys, today I'd like to show you my IoT Smart Home Manager. Um, it's basically, in this case, built for Tesla products. Um, it's gaining data from our Tesla Powerwall 2 and also a Tesla Model X, um, which I borrowed from some friends for this. Yeah, and I, now I'd like to explain how my box is working and what's this small device. It, oh, it's actually small, I guess it's doing. Um, basically, it's getting data from the power wall, like the same or your Tesla app, like the solar generation, home usage, the grid usage and the battery usage, and as, as well as the SOC of the battery um, and some other information from that. It also uses the same interface as the app to access data from the Model X. In this case it's the state of charge and the location as well as the climate control um, and some other features like the left range. Um, so a lot of information going in here. Now I'd like to zoom in and show you the dashboard of these guys. At first we have the communications um, on the left side and the stages of some of the car and some others of, on the right side. First of all we have the uh, communication of the power wall, which in this case is true, like green, for the car it's also green. For my PM sensor, which is uh, yeah, measuring the air condition outside as well as the humidity and the temperature. And we have a weather forecast. Um, in this case Yahoo weather um, to gain data for the next days and do some predictions on how many how much energy will produce the next days so on the right side we have also the car com if the car is at home and if the car is charging at um, both is um, yeah not connected to each other so the car can still be at home and be not charging in this case the LED would switch to red um, and if this if it's off the car is not plugged in yeah, the car can be at home and not, so it's uh, red and green. Um, below that we have also a busy LED, which is telling me if the system is gaining data at the moment or not, and an error LED in case of yeah, some errors occurring, um, which is until now not happening at all. On the upper stage we have um, some different switches or relays. Um, you can see uh, currently two red LEDs running, so we have two devices switched on. Um, in this case, it's um, a water pump for our garden. Yeah. Um, the box also has an input for a USB and a network cable, so I can access it with my P computer, and it has internet access. So this is required because I'm using some different interfaces, all using the internet on different levels. So I have Ethernet as well as uh, Wi-Fi uh, and mobile data. So that's a box at all. And now I'd like to explain what's this box doing. So it's gaining all the data together. I'm com combining it or comparing it to each other. So the the data from the power tells this box if the Solar generation is bigger than my usage. In this case, that is, the battery is full and I have more energy than I use. At the moment, I can switch off other devices, in this case, like a water pump. Of course, as the box also has access to the Tesla car, um, it can also start and stop charging processes. Yeah, like in this case, it's using the interface of the app to switch on and off the charging process if I have energy more energy than I need then it's switching on or if it, if the sun is going down or if I use more energy for for a washing machine or for the oven um, in that case the car will be switched off. It also has access to my Google Calendar and it's gaining data from there so if I have an appointment on the next day like yeah meeting Tim at 9 a.m. then it's calculating the distance to this point um, comparing this with the current state of charge if it's uh, enough 
the car will not charge if it's not enough, the car will start charging um, even at night if the energy or solar energy is not um, present anymore um, then it will charge the car from the grid. Um, it will also calculate the time I will need um, and it will precondition the car. So uh, if the point is at 9 I have to drive 50 kilometers then the car will be preconditioned at 7.15 so when I get in the car it will be nicely warm. All I have to do is fill in my appointment in my calendar. So location, dates, all my calendar and accessible we are that and this box also has access to it. Yeah, that's basically the most of this. Um, it's also gaining data from weather so I will be able to predict uh, solar income be or better predictions on how much energy I will have during the next three days or something. I hope you enjoy my video. Thanks for watching and take care.